डिस्पाइट सम ग्रेट इनोवेशन इन थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द न्यू एंडर फाइव एस वन फ्रॉम क्रिएटी डजन डू मच टू पुश द इनवेलप इट्स ए डिसेंट प्रिंटर बट नीडेड मोर टू रियली वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड द बिल्ड क्वालिटी ऑफ दिस थ्री डी प्रिंटर इज एक्सिलेंट एज आई हैव एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम द इंडर लाइन ऑल द पर्ट्स लुक लाइक एंड फील वेल मेड वेन यू पिक इट अप by the built in handles it has a heft that suggests a ruggedness that you don't get from a cheaper models so now i am unboxing it uh, this is the quality machine and very much good box so let's see what inside in this this is the display yes this is the display wait a bit yes this display is too much attractive there is some back ports like lan cable lan port power adapter ports power button usb port etc this machine is too much gorgeous you can say it has handle also you can stand stand by this machine very much uh, there is a manual books some writings no matter so it has some extra cables like usb 2.0 cables usb 3 cables some screws adapter and power adapter also inside this you can you can find fully full boxed and equipments from this machines or from this packages whatever you can say you have to adjust it you have to adjust by this way there is some another thing also what is this let's say yes there are some screws also some adapter yes usb 2 uh, from usb 3 this is a converter usb 2 usb 2.0 to usb 2 uh, 3.0 uh, type c type c converter i think yes so now i have to connect it this is power adapt adapter this thing is also very much easier to connect you have to connect in this way try to focus on this and try to figure out the pins there is five pins to five pins five pins holes will replace this five pin then you will conduct uh then connect usb with uh, 3.2.0 Now we have to power on it. Yes, <laughs> the Creality machine is starting. That is very much nice. A nice animation, you can say. It will start with a few moments. Then I have to set up it. This setup uh, is very much easier. Like it will show the next step. Whatever you wanted to do, this is very much easier. is your setup you can you can set up first time without seeing any kind of guidance so i will follow the next instructions that's all yes yes that is very much good and touch response is very much very much cool now i have to set up the firmware now i insert my pen drive to this then i am copying the firmware the firmware is copying to my ender 5s1 now i have to unboxing the another things which is very much attractive let's see what happening now this is very much interesting to fully unbox the machine i had to remove parts from three layers protective foam all parts appeared to be in good condition with no signs of damage 
layer one. Layer two purse filament sample is very much attractive and very much safe packaging, whatever you can say. The die kit, the Inder 5S1 comes as a die kit that requires assembly and seeing so many parts may feel a bit imitating. However, I can say that nowadays die kit assembly is much easier compared to kits from the last decade as most of the wearing and electronics comes pre-assembled. No soldering is required. It took me approximately one hour to fully assemble the machine. This is another thing, CR series. Very good box and very well designed box. Inside the box, I have a reel. This reel helps us to slide this machine as much as possible. Now I have to set up it. Again, start the Reality machine and flash the firmware which firmware is given on pre-built or inbuilt pen drive. This is very much easier process. Just plug in and flash it. Then reality machine is start. It will take some instructions. You have to look forward it same process same thing which we already did in addition i have to add i have already mentioned in my previous reviews i often struggle with micro sd cards after approximately 20 prints but in this printer, I had no issues with the Ender 5S1. Even with a normal micro SD card, there is no issue. There are no files were lost. But just in case you you should, I will recommend you saving all manufacturers' files like BIOS files somewhere else to avoid losing them due to potential card malfunctions. To sum it all up, the Creality Ender 5S1 is a very capable printer and I have enjoyed working with it. Loading and unloading materials is easy and it can handle a wide range of materials. With its 300 degrees Celsius dual gear extruder, I tested both the filament, runout sensor and the power loss recovery features and they both worked as intended savings what would otherwise have been failed points. The printer is blazingly fast and yet rather quiet. Its large touch screen is responsive and the UI is innovative, just innovative. And I love how easy it to use, adjust the jet offset. One grip with the UI is the there is no model preview when selecting file to print and it also doesn't show the entire file name so if two files have long names then they start the same they can be different on the touch screen it's a small issue but not a big issue but long file names that start the same are fairly common in 3d printing due to the duration and variations besides that it was all smooth sailing if you are looking for a star die Versatile 3D printer that's easy to use. The Ender 5S1 is a solid choice.